what I wanted to uh, talk about today in the Make Code Minute is using some uh, comparisons to tell when a, a couple of different sensors are in different states. So what you can tell here is I have essentially four different states and what I'm measuring are my light meter and my uh, temperature sensor. And what I decided to do is set, uh, this was actually a suggestion again for my daughter. She's been coming up with great ideas for me for projects. She said, well, how about a weather sensor? So essentially this will tell me if it's uh, dark or light and if it's cold or hot. And so then I can display different um, colors on the NeoPixel ring depending on those conditions. So what I have are these uh, four different conditional statements. So I'm checking, and each of these is a pair of conditions that are being checked. So I'm first setting, uh, the, the first condition is going to check if the light level is less than a certain value, which I'm calling the light target, and I've set that up here at a value of 90. And the temperature in Fahrenheit is less than my temperature target, which I set to 80 degrees, then it's going to be yellow. And so the nice thing is here, right here in the simulator, if I uh, expand this so you can see it nice and big, you'll see that we have a little virtual uh, light sensor slider and temperature sensor slider. So uh, as you can see, when it gets over 80 degrees and it's dark, I get a blue lighting set. If it's light out, it's going to be red. If the temperature goes below 80, it's going to be yellow. And if it's dark and below 80, it goes to, I think it's orange, but it looks kind of yellowy on here too. Uh, so this is something that you can apply to a lot of different things, not just the sensors on the board, but different combinations of button presses. And uh, it could be more than just two. Uh, you can extend these. They'll get wider and wider and wider. But uh, if you look right inside of the logic section, we have all we need here, these if statements, which you can expand, uh, and these comparisons, which you can stack multiples of these inside of each other. So you can see uh, we can have comparisons going on. Uh, we can have these Booleans like and and or going on. So these can get really big and really wide, but uh, they're fantastic for building the logic to do things like compare a couple things and give you a state based on those comparisons. And so that is your Make Code Minute.